going on YouTube, Soul Seeker. As you can see, my studio has changed. I recently moved, so I haven't been posting any videos. I just got my desktop back up last uh, two nights ago. So I'm ready to post some more videos. Still doing a little bit of the wave game. Real quick before I say, before I start anything else, man, shout out to Pretty Boy Shay. I'm claiming that girl right now. She is my disciple. I know that uh, she won't be offended by that at all, even though, you know, I'm kind of joking. She said I helped her a lot, but the amazing progress that girl has made in her hair, man, is putting everybody else to shame. So, shout out to her, my disciple. But uh, she's doing really good, man. And uh, check out her, her, her channel and definitely her last video. It's amazing. Anyways, um, I'm here to do a video about uh, a request. A lot of guys have been saying that they wanted to know what to do when your uh, the top parts, like the part you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it, starts to curl up. All right, it looks real funny. I don't know about you all, my edges will do the same all right, when I'm woofing. It gets real long. So what do you do when you're going through that? Basically, this is when cutting your hair comes really in handy. I mean, anybody that really has is on their wave game, I want to say 95% of them either cut their own hair, have a barber that is really familiar about how to cut 360 waves in a way that it wasn't damage your progress or either they know how to tell their barber how to cut their hair in a way that will not damage their their process their progress okay so every person there that I respect that has the connections and the wave game on point they all cut their own hair every single one so right now this is this is the kind of thing you don't want to go to a barber man paying 10 bucks 15 bucks, whatever it is, just to get the edges down. This is what you have to do. You've got to cut the edges. Okay? So basically, that's what I'm going to show you how to do and basically do that so you can get you looking pretty decent. A little, a little like a, a machi sheet, we used to call it back in the 80s and the 90s. Alright, um, of course, I got my clippers here. Wall. Basically, after brushing your hair. You want to work your way down. Of course, as always, make sure you got your your blades lubricated. This also is a disinfectant. You don't have to use this kind, but use something. Okay, keep them oiled, keep them disinfected. Even if you're only cutting your own hair, you know, just keep them clean. It's good hygiene. Okay, so. I've got my three guard, number two, and my number one. All right. The reason why I know which one I'm gonna need, which is probably gonna be a one, more than likely. But just for tutorial's sake, if you don't know your number, you don't know what to use. Start with the highest guard and go down. So I'm starting with the three. Okay. Just go around the edges where it's curling up at. So, three, it's cutting nothing. Doing nothing for me. All right, you don't have to go all the way around back here. None of that needs to be touched. All you gotta do is your edge. That's all you gotta do. Do the two. Okay. Again, for me, it's nothing. Cutting a little bit, but not enough. Still got curling around here and in the front. So I'm gonna put my one on. Now I don't just do the one. I do 1.5, which means I extend it. Okay. Remember, this is zero. This is 0.5 extended. So that's what we're gonna do. 0.5.
just the edges. This is good for you guys that now normally in this situation, which I might do still, I would do a taper to get rid of this here. A lot of you guys are a little nervous, understandably, so this will be a good alternative to the taper. Still giving you a good clean look after you edge yourself up, making sure that you uh, still look you know, decent in what you're doing. So, one more time around. As you can see, still got a little bit of curling right up in there. So I'm going to take that again, be able to cut my own hair. I can go down just a little bit. If you're the barber, you're at his mercy. So I'm going to go down to the one. then for you guys that um, don't have your edgers just have the clippers I've shown you before how to make them more closer of course one you bring it all the way in loosen up these screws I'll do a video for that on my um, I've already got a video but I'll do another one on my barber soul seeker uh, page Go around the edge. You know they're not razor sharp, but they'll still give you a cleaner look than what you had before. You want those sharp edges? Go ahead and invest in some time, some kind of edger. Of course, I showed y'all before. I got the Andis T edger. So there we go. I haven't taken anything off the top. I've got a sharper edge. Alright, the curling is gone. So basically I'm going to get my edger. Take down everything. But right now this tutorial is just how to clean up. When you got that curling going up in the front and on the sides. Alright. Every day, you know.